Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today, precious saints, is day three of the prayer and fasting of seven days as we are crossing over into 2023. Somebody say hallelujah. And today's topic is talking about praise, praising God and the importance of worshiping and praising God in each and every season. You've got to have something to praise God about today. Now, I want to talk about the Holy Spirit, the moving of the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit will direct us and to lead us and to guide us because there are some common terms that we will see in Scripture where it says that 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 Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit or was led by the Holy Spirit. Somebody say hallelujah. See, we got to be full of the Holy Spirit. We've got to be led of the Holy Spirit. To be faithful is to be full of faith. To be full of faith is to be full of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Somebody say hallelujah. So the Bible says, according to Luke 4 verse 1, it says, Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. And in those days he had ate nothing and afterward when they had when that had ended and he was hungry and the devil said to him if you are the son of God command the stone to become bread but Jesus answered him saying it is written man shall not live on bread alone but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God then the devil taking him up on the high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said to him all this authority I give to you and their glory for this has been delivered to me and I give it to whomever I wish therefore if you will worship before me all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, If you shall worship the Lord your God and him alone, you shall serve. Then he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, lest to keep you. And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered and said to him, It has been said, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Now, when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. And then Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee, and news of him went throughout all the surrounding region. Somebody say, Hallelujah. He returned in the power of the Holy Spirit. Somebody say, Hallelujah. That's right. See, Jesus goes into the wilderness full of the Holy Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit. The role of the Spirit in the wilderness is, is crucial and so is the uh, you know the the importance of the holy spirit with us in every wilderness experience that we may pass through precious saints the wilderness is a place for jesus to be alone with the father in addition this time of jesus in the wilderness will also be a time of testing a tile of temptation a time of trial for him and as we journey this past year, as we have gone, as, as you've been following this ministry, if you've been following these fastings, as God has been speaking to you through the utterances, through the prayers, through the teachings, God has been revealing more of the Holy Spirit and the importance and the role of the Holy Spirit in our Christian walk for us to overcome, for us to move forward into what God has plan for us because we need to be led by the spirit of the living God into this new year precious saints because we need to also be full of the Holy Spirit we need to be led of the Holy Spirit because these phrases they apply to Jesus's ministry and also describe the spirit's work within our lives because according to Galatians 5 verse 17 it says for the flesh lusts against the spirit 
and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. You don't do what your flesh wants, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. Rather, we ask for God's grace to overcome through the Spirit of God. Because, But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Somebody say law. You're not under the law when you are being led by by the Spirit of the living God. His Spirit moves us. His Spirit guides us. His Spirit leads us into all truth. Somebody say hallelujah. Ephesians 5 verse 18 says, And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit of the living God. Jesus wants to fill us with His Spirit. He wants us to be led by His Spirit, especially as we're crossing over into 2023, that we can overcome all that is before us. Imagine this. Jesus faced trials and temptations. He overcame them as the Spirit filled him and led him. Similarly, we can overcome life's difficulties as we are filled with the Holy Spirit and led by His Holy Spirit. So let's commit to focus even this new year ahead of us as we're about to cross over precious saints as being filled, as being led by the Spirit of the living God. Let's invite the Holy Spirit to be our comforter, to be our counsellor, to be our advocate, to be our helper, to be our friend, because we need the Holy Spirit more now than ever before. Let's trust that we will focus even our hearts on Jesus and immerse ourselves in His story. Let's immerse ourselves in the connection with the Holy Spirit and the work, His miracle of transformation within our lives. The Holy Spirit has started a sanctification work within you, within me. We must allow, we must submit, we must yield to the Holy Spirit so that He may complete the work that God has started within our lives. According to 2 Corinthians 3.18, it says, But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, and being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the living God. It is the Spirit of the living God that is transforming us, that we can behold His glory. Who is that glory? That glory is in Christ Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. See, we have received a great gift in Jesus. Jesus now wants us to use the Holy Spirit in our lives to make the gift complete. The Holy Spirit that is there for us this year, as we go about praising God, as we go about worshiping God, as we go about speaking words of edification, of praise that is worthy to our Lord, let us remember the Holy Spirit is with us. It's such a vital part. We need the Holy Spirit to lead us. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit to guide us, to get through all all the temptations, no matter what the devil is trying to throw at you today, you've got to speak to the devil and say, devil, speak to the hand. I ain't listening to you today. Somebody say, devil, speak to the hand. I'm not listening to you today. Remember, the devil lives under your feet. You are more than conquerors and you are going to be victorious. Yes, many of the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers us from them all. God will deliver you. God will set you free. God will make a way because you are being led by the Spirit. You are being filled by His Spirit daily. As we fast... As we say, you know what, we're going to crucify the flesh because we want to draw nearer to God. We want to see Him and do great and mighty things this year. May our foundation be solid, as we have spoken about. May our foundation be solid. May we know the will of God because that is the know the will of God is to have a good foundation. I pray in the name of Jesus for each person today that you would press forward. You would move forward from the past, past offenses and all the different things that have stopped you. Whatever the devil has tried to do, this is our time to move forward and to see greater things. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you today through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. We thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. Holy and righteous Father, we thank you for the gift of Jesus and the gift of your Holy Spirit. As we also finish this year and anticipate a new year ahead of us, help us that we may journey into the future, yielded to Jesus, yielded to the Spirit of the living God, yielded to Jesus as Lord, filled with the Spirit, led by the Spirit into a life ahead of us. We want our life to reflect Jesus. We want to behold His glory. We want to see great and mighty things. Lord, I pray for each person. You know their needs. You know their wants. You will come and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Let your grace be poured out upon them today as they press in to seek you in greater ways in Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries all the way from the prayer mountain in Perth, Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. You can also follow us on Rumble. You can follow us on our one of our WhatsApp groups. If you're not connected to one of our WhatsApp groups in your nation, you can request the link or we can make up a link for you. Just send us an email. Let us know what nation you are and let's get started. Let's believe that God is going to bring repentance revival as we are we are, we are inundated with confirmations of what God is going to do in His outpouring of His Holy Spirit upon His true remnant church within this hour to reach those souls, that amount of souls that God wants to bring and usher in so that each may partake of the wedding feast of the Lamb of God. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.